Welcome back to tonight's discussion on infrastructure. We are fortunate to have uh, Mrs. Ms. Lava and Mrs. Scott Schumer. Scott, perhaps you can explain to the audience you know, the, the demand of the infrastructure. Yes, well, um, if you look at the worldwide demand, we're in multi-million, multi-billion dollars worth of infrastructure across the world, particularly if you like just in Asia, which mm. is the subject of mm. the conference here. The trouble is um, the money that's available from the private sources is less than the actual number of projects or the demand, if you like. Therefore, countries like Indonesia uh, and many others are competing for this smaller pot to get some of it. Mm. Now. We know from, uh, because these are the numbers from government, that one is looking at uh, uh, something like 140 billion US dollars uh, required cool. over the next five years, mm. of which the government budget will only support one third. Mm. So, if in a sense, one is looking for a lot of money from private sector sources um, to meet the target, if you like. <laughs> now, the targets are set that are, uh, you might call it the wish list, because um, the chances of it all taking place after a standing start, effectively, yeah. are, are probably not right, and it's going to be back-ended and, and continue mm -hmm. for the next five years, mm -hmm. assuming that Indonesia can get mm -hmm. its regulations right. I, I spoke at a, a meeting on, on infrastructure in uh, Singapore about mm -hmm. uh, in last November where um, there were a lot of funders and investors and banking people present there. And I can tell you what is uh, important to Indonesia, the focus of all those people, and there were 200 delegates, was China and India. What and about Indonesia? Uh, Indonesia. Um, uh, Thanks to me, you know, was basic, just barely on the radar. People really didn't know about Indonesia, which is one of the reasons this uh, conference coming up is extremely important. Uh, totally but the other issue was that uh, if we're looking for, for the money, even China and India are not, uh, do not get anything like the amount of money they would like to get mm. from private sector sources. India's still only getting about a third and <laughs> China about 40%. So the appetite in those countries is still large and people are now familiar, uh, investors are now familiar with lending money to those places. And that's the market that mm. Indonesia has to break into and get some of that uh, really rolling into, the, into, into here. Because we were not ready in 2006 mm. and the last three years have been spent mm. to try and improve that situation. Mm. And so it'll be the proof of the pudding in this particular conference, how, how much actually it goes forward. That's right. It's really this conference that you organized is, uh, was really helping countries now. You, you bring it up to the surface. It's been a regional conference in Jakarta. If nothing happens not going on after the conference, and the government are not putting enough effort to support, then what else do you expect, right? 